In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how the uh, crankcase breather system works on a small engine. And uh, the engine I'll be using is a Predator 212cc uh, single cylinder overhead valve engine. And um, I've already taken the liberty and removed the side cover off of the crankcase and also the, uh, the valve cover. The uh, main function of the uh, crankcase breather system is to relieve pressure in the crankcase created by the piston moving up and down as the engine is running. And uh, on this engine, the crankcase breather is built into this valve cover, and you can see part of it where my thumb is pointing. Um, another function of this crankcase breather is um, as gases are escaping the crankcase, uh, they can contain an oily mist because um, oil sloshing around as the engine is running and these breathers are designed to collect that oil and send the oil back to the crankcase. The uh, crankcase area is the cavity here that you see um, where, where we have this crankshaft and the camshaft but it also extends up through the cylinder and into the cylinder head through the passages they made for the uh, push rods. Um, and that is why you're able to put the crankcase breather in the valve cover and relieve pressure in this main area of the, uh, of the crankcase. The area of this crankcase uh, cavity is always changing because the bottom of the piston is part of that, um, part of that cavity. Uh, when the piston moves from uh, bottom dead center to top dead center, that area increases, and when it comes back down, that area decreases. Uh, I think you can see this in the video. That is the bottom of the piston, and as you rotate the, the crankshaft, you can see that the piston is moving up, and that area um, in the crankcase is increasing. And then as it moves back down, the area decreases. So uh, if this crankcase cavity was sealed and he didn't have the breather, um, as the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center, the area decreases but the pressure rises. And as the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center, the area increases and the pressure uh, decreases. So uh, what the uh, crankcase breather does is it acts as a one-way check valve by letting the uh, higher pressures created from the piston moving from top dead center to bottom dead center escape the crankcase. But uh, as the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center, it does not let uh, air from the outside uh, enter the uh, crankcase. And the overall effect of that is um, the pressure inside of the crankcase is less than the ambient or outside air pressure. Um, I can't recommend uh, doing this with your mouth because you can have uh, chemicals on these hoses that you don't want to get in your body, but I've gone ahead and cleaned this hose off and I'm going to show you how um, you can check these breather valves to see that they're acting like a one-way check valve by uh, creating pressure in a vacuum with your mouth um, by blowing on this hose. I'm going to try and do this up close so you can see um, this diaphragm moving as I do this. Um, so here goes. The uh, reason I made this video is because someone on my forum at the uh, smallengineshop.net asked if uh, they could measure the crankcase pressure by attaching a gauge to this hose coming off of the overhead valve cover. And uh, the answer to that question is no. Um, if you attach a gauge here while the engine's running, you're just going to measure the pressure of the gases being forced out of the engine and not the actual um, crankcase uh, pressure. And hopefully you understand that after watching this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section or um, better yet, go to my forum at thesmallengineshop.net and leave a comment or question there. Um, hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching.